Welcome to Better Not. On today's episode, we're talking about dragons. We're talking about skunks and reefer. Smoking the reefer. Let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome to Better Not. I'm Zach. Oh, yeah. I have to say I'm <laughs> And I'm Will. And this is the podcast where two co-workers Google... Uh, Google. questions that are easily Googleable, and we find out the answers and that's what we do on here. I'm forcing Zach to start this one. <laughs> I didn't tell him I was going to do that. <laughs> this is the podcast where two co-workers bet beers. Bet on, beer. Oh, I forgot the beer thing. Yep. All on right. topics you can easily Google the answer for. Yep. Yeah. So, Zach, I'm tricking you today. Well, it's all about trickery. Oh, great. All the trickery. You know, I had a patient one time that was like, oh, this is trickery. Pure trickery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trickery. He was, he was a 1370 or okay. a, incompetent to stand trial. Yeah. He was like, trickery. That's all it is. It's mm-hmm. just trickery, pure trickery. <laughs> We're like, always oh out gosh. to get them. <laughs> you know, we try. Yeah. We try a lot. <laughs> and um, trying, you know, it's first the, step in failing. First step of failing. Yep. That's true. You got to try before you can fail. Yep. And then you got to fail before you can try. Yes. Uh, try again. Mm-hmm. Or you got to fail or you got to try before you can fail. And you got to fail before you can try, try, try again. Yeah. That's that's deep. Yeah. Deep thoughts. You lost me on that one. Why, oh, what, why are we talking about skunks today, Zach? Why are we betting on skunks? Uh, well, when I came up with the idea, um, it was because there was a skunk running behind my house mm-hmm. um, galloping. Have you ever seen how they run? They like, do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Is it like squirrels? Uh, no, squirrels, like, they're like, shh. Okay. And he just want me to be doing this, don't you? I do. I do. <laughs> Can <laughs> felt, you demonstrate? I it? fell right into that one. What about, what about chipmunks? Can you demonstrate uh, some chipmunks? Yeah, they just blow their mouth out or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, they, they actually like do this little gallop thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of like golf, uh, dolphins. Okay. So skunks are very similar to dolphins. In that they have holes that they blow stuff out of <laughs> and their, okay. their uh, movement. And that's what um, that's what our bet today is all about. Yep. Is skunks, skunk holes. Skunk holes. Yeah. Yeah. Ought to be cons- uh, confused with uh, sinkholes. Uh, aren't they the same? No. No? Really different. Sinkhole, skunk hole? Yeah. The skunk hole lounge? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Sounds awful. Um, okay. So when you, I went to, um, not to change the subject, yeah, but to change the subject. To change the subject. When I went to Napa, they had a cigar lounge downtown. Yeah, yeah that's I'd a never thing. seen that before. You could actually like smoke a cigar in the building. They have one uh, here in Slough. Really? I think. I think there's a cigar uh, shop downtown. Well, not a shop. Usually a lounge. the same thing. Really? Yeah. I've never seen it. That was the only time I'd ever seen that before. They have a bunch of those in Atlanta. And then when we were in Bali, we went to one. Well, those places you can still uh, smoke indoors, right? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure if you have the correct um, ventilation in, indoor ventilation, you can still smoke inside. Oh, really? uh, it, you have to like make sure the code is up to that. Hmm. Older, your patrons. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hmm. Is that a segue to our Patreon? No, no, <laughs> um, it's a little too early, too early. Uh, so I, I just, okay. So you, you saw a skunk. Yeah. Galloping. Uh, galloping. And then prancing. Prancing. Or, maybe. No, Gallop- it was more galloping. No, galloping. Uh, and so what would <laughs> really need some chopstick right now. <laughs> Will just uh, made us some fresh guac and chips, mm. and the salt is making my lips already dry up. Is that a problem that you have? Mm-hmm. I always thought that was just me. Like I was like sensitive to salt or something. Yeah, I know I'm addicted to salt. We discussed that yeah, already. About- yeah, like every time it's like if I have too many chips, they'll like destroy the sides of my mouth. Yeah, yeah, I get that on the sides really yeah. easy. Yeah, really easily, right? Yeah. I wonder. Hmm. Are we like slugs in that way? That we we get injured by salt? It's drying me out. Yeah. It's not bubbling weird? yet, though. Isn't that weird? Why did, is it just like they're the skin membrane on slugs? We have too many curiosities on this show. Yeah. Like we're. Did you ever put salt on a slug when you were a little kid? Um, I don't remember doing it, but I I know of it. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. We used to have snails like no other at my house when we were growing up. And you did like salt lines around? No. No. <laughs> my dad actually used to pick them, and he knew somebody that would eat them. 
The eat the slugs? Not slugs. Snails. Snails. Yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah. Well. Isn't that what caviar is? They're not fish eggs. No, that, it's uh, fish escargot. Eggs. Escargot. What's right. caviar? Fish eggs. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So escargot is snails. Right. Fish eggs is caviar. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. I've had I've had the the fish eggs though. Have you? Is yeah, it good? I think so. I had it on something. Uh, we went to a place in downtown Long Beach. I think it was Nick's on second. Okay. Um, and they had like prosciutto or something like that with escargot on top. Ooh. Okay. I couldn't taste it. Didn't taste like anything. I maybe. think that's like kind of with all these fancy things. It's like a um, topper that's like. Maybe add some salt, you know, because it's like pickled or something like that. Mm -hmm. I think that's the same thing with capers. It's like capers, I just taste salt, little salt balls. Yeah. Yeah. I still haven't had those capers. I gave you the bottle. I know. I never put them on a pizza. Do it. I think I threw them away or something. Why? That was, was, it's actually kind of expensive. Really? (laughs) Yeah. Why'd you do that? I don't know. Um, I think, but you tried you tried the goat cheese on your pizzas. Yeah, it's really good. Do the goat cheese and capers, dude. All right. Goat cheese, black olive capers. See, we just need to have another pizza party, and then you just need to make me that pizza because I'm never. If I have the option of a Hawaiian with chorizo, I'm always mm. gonna do that. Oh my gosh, have we talked about Hawaiian on this podcast? Uh, we yeah, we did a full. I think there's like memes on online about how much people hate Hawaiian pizzas. I think. Josh is one of those. I'm pretty sure. That he hates it? I, I'm pretty sure. I'll I have to ask it. him. Uh, except for when we had Malibia's party. Uh, we didn't talk about this in the podcast. Uh, you brought, or she said that we should try the white, white sauce. sauce. Yeah. It's a wh- white sauce Hawaiian. Mm-hmm. But you got white sauce. They didn't have Canadian bacon. You got regular bacon. Right. So you got white sauce, regular bacon, and, ho- and uh, pineapple. pineapple. It was really freaking good. It was actually amazing. Yeah. Um, so shouts out to Olivia. It makes me want to order that banana pepper pizza or whatever that they talk about on the commercials. Wait, what pizza? Yeah. No, I haven't I haven't heard on of that. On the this Domino's one. commercial they say like there's like over five hundred different combinations that you can get and they go, even the banana pepper and black olive or something like that. Oh banana pepper. Not yeah. banana and peppers. No, no, no. No, bananas on a pizza. Ugh. Yeah. So I'd be like, that's awful. Aw- that sounds terrible. Yeah. Wait, but uh, banana peppers aren't, aren't bad. I like those. Yeah. They're, Never had I mean, them on a pizza. I don't think I want them on a pizza. Yeah. That's anyway. So inter- uh, the, skunks. But, <laughs> skunks. Have you had skunk juice on a pizza? Oh, gosh. Well, so why why did this just, this bet is just so weird to me. Why did you think of this? Because uh, later I smelled skunk okay and i was like oh i wonder if that's skunk or if that's marijuana so it just like popped in my head and i was yeah so okay i guess that makes sense and so then i started thinking well i wonder if they're like the same chemical because they do smell pretty much exactly the same Mm -hmm. and it's kind of like sometimes the same chemical compounds smell the same right that's interesting but you also had okay you have an auxiliary bet for today as well I tell, do. Tell me about it. Uh, the hole? The the skunk hole. Yeah. Is it... What? What is it? That's... I don't know. So, similar to uh, humans, there's other holes for things. Right. Uh, what orifice does the the skunk juices it's come spray. out of? It's spray. Skunk spray. Yeah. Does it come out... Is it just like the urine spray? Is, is I think it, they have a specific skunk hole. Okay, there's a specific skunk hole. Yeah. And you said it's a specific liquid, right? It's not it's just they're spraying urine at you. Right, it's it's for sure spray. Similar to Jurassic Park with the, uh, what's that? The dinosaur that sprays yeah. on, on Newman right. <laughs> from Seinfeld. Yeah. Uh, oh, gosh. So is that a thing? Is that a thing? Like, is there, isn't there lizards that spray? Spit like poisonous spray. Uh, there that's, was on holes. I I think that's like a real creature, isn't it? I don't know. There's a lot of. Th- <laughs> We're unpacking a lot in this yeah. episode. So, is there a skunk hole? Is the chemical the same as marijuana? Uh, and then uh, are there actual uh poison spraying lizards? Yeah, there's got to be. Wait, do do kimono dragons spray? Are kimono dragons? 
dangerous? Oh, yeah. No, I, They're muscular, I, I dude. I know nothing about dude, them. Dude, they'll wrestle you to the ground. No. Did you see my um, my thing in, in uh, Thailand? I took a video of a Komodo dragon just cruising around in my uh, in the, one of the places we stayed in Thailand. Just, just swimming around. And it was like swimming with its arms back like this. But it's just like muscles. Really? It was just like... Mm-hmm. What? Like, yeah. And, what? It's, just, and just, it's a big lizard? Hu- a, a, a Komodo I've never dragon. Even seen one. You haven't seen a Komodo dragon? No. <laughs> Are they Komodo or Komono? Komodo? I was going to think Komodo. Isn't that a, a like a sweater? Like the girls Komono wear? Komono is a... Is a is a is a kimono is a, is a fabric, like a thin silk fabric, like kind of like a robe. Yeah, yeah. And then there's komodo dragon. Kimono, komodo. Yeah. Okay. So komodo dragon, they're they're not dragons. They're like big beefy lizards. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're brutal. Hmm. Do they spray? I don't think they spray. You don't even know what they are. <laughs> As far as I know, you could be making this whole thing up. I am. No, I took a video <laughs> of it. And actually, I think I have that video saved. Let me... Yeah, it, oh, they were they were burly. <laughs> like, it looked like he was just, like, pumping iron when you weren't looking really? at him. Yeah. Now, like, do they look like a um, an alligator, kind of? Um, it's like a, it's like an alligator head with a big, burly lizard, like, body and arms. Okay. But, like, uh, and then they're the size of this table. Okay. They're huge. Uh, oh, the big ones are this big. Now, are they like endangered or are they? I think so. Okay. No, well, I don't know. Do they? Do they uh, use them <laughs> for anything? Uh, do they use them? They use you. <laughs> they, they eat. In you, Soviet yeah. Russia, yeah. Komodo dragon use you. Huh. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you remember those jokes? People used to always say those. No. Jokes. <laughs> You never, <laughs> no. I mean, that was a Georgia thing. <laughs> it was like, uh, the, the main one was like, uh, in Soviet Russia, in Soviet Russia, road forks you. <laughs> I never heard that. Uh, because like, uh, it's like, uh, if you were, what, it was a joke. It was all the time in high school. People would say this. Uh, our thing was the Chuck Norris. Chuck people, Norris jokes in high school. Chuck yeah. Norris huge. Yeah. Did you see the coronavirus Chuck Norris joke? No, I don't know. It was, it's kind of like a, you click on it and it's like Chuck Norris has died from the coronavirus and you click on it and then, but then he woke in and like defeated the <laughs> Raised in three days. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I love Chuck Norris jokes. Like, and I, I feel like I could read them forever. <laughs> so, so it was like a clickbait kind of thing. And it said, coronavirus claims a black belt. Carlos Ray, Chuck Norris, famous actor and fighter died yesterday afternoon in his home. In North Holly or Northwood Hills, Texas, at the age of eighty, he's eighty years old. He's old, man. Wow, dude, those movies are old. Did you ever watch those missing in action movies? No, so good. Uh, and then, and then when you click on it, it goes. However, after his minor inconvenience of death, Chuck Norris has made a full recovery <laughs> and is reported to be doing quite well. It has also been reported that coronavirus is in self isolation for fourteen days oh due gosh. to being exposed to Chuck, <laughs> Chuck Norris. <laughs> Oh That's my gosh! Really I had um I had a math teacher, uh, my senior year, and I just like, I I just thought math was a joke. Like I was really good at it. <laughs> it is a joke. It's not real. <laughs> it's not real. Um, I don't know. Like um, some stuff comes easily to people, and math was pretty easy to me. Okay. So uh, we had this teacher, and I just joked with him all the time. But he was hyper nerd, kind of like uh. Uh, he had like a really complex last name starting with a G and I just okay. tried to like make it sound cool. I was like, Mr. G. And so, uh, he's like, all right guys, we're doing, you know, this problem here and he'd use his whiteboard. Um, <laughs> I like how you try to do the nerdy voice and you like, don't change it at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know I'm a nerd. I know I'm a nerd. <laughs> So anyways, oh anyways, he's, try, he's trying to do problems on like, <laughs> that's sweet, Mr. G. Uh, and, and we would just like drop Chuck Norris jokes on him all the time. Yeah. And then towards the end of the year, right, senior year, I'm pretty sure it was senior year, uh, and he, he, he drops a Chuck Norris joke on us. Really? I don't remember what it was, but the entire class lost it. Really? Like he's doing a, he's doing a math problem on the, did you use the projectors, right? Uh, yeah. We uh, and he's like yeah. writing on the projector and you yeah. could see it. 
Have you seen the new ones that they have? Oh, uh, they have like those? digital boards. Yeah, now. it's super cool. It's, you can, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So he's like riding on the on the projector, and um, he just like looks up, like he's like riding, and he goes, "This is kind of like that one time about uh, Chuck Norris or something." Yeah. And we were just like, "Whoa, Mr. G!" <laughs> you know, he'd probably been working on that all no, year. That's long. exactly what I thought. <laughs> yeah. I was like, "That's pretty." That was a pretty dope comeback. Yeah, that's funny. Okay, we've gone down so many tangents here. What are we talking about again? We're talking about skunks. Oh, yeah. Oh, so CBD, the two chemicals in marijuana, CBD and THC. Do you think that's it? Well, I, there's more chemicals, obviously, for okay. sure. Like, what about the um, the raid or whatever that they spray on it? The raid? Yeah. Or rate. Raid. What'd you say? Raid? Yeah. On um, Keep the bugs away? Like. Oh, they don't use Ray, do they? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, that's interesting. Is there organic like marijuana? We both we both aren't I marijuana users, so we no idea. We're very not prepared for this topic, but yeah. so uh, yeah, I mean, there's CBD, which is like the oil that's supposedly medicinal. Yeah, and then there's the THC, which is the more that that's the drug part of it. Have you ever tried the CBD? Um, I've tried like, I think Savannah had like a pain oil. Hmm. That was made out of CBD. Yeah. Um, and I don't I don't know. I don't know if it's placebo or whatever. That, that's what I in my mind, I feel like it's just a placebo. Well, I think um I think a lot of people do find benefit of it, whether it's placebo or not. Yeah. Well, even with the placebos, people find benefit with it. Yeah. Well, and there's a lot of but there has been some I wouldn't say a lot of research. They're trying to do a lot more research on it. Yeah. To see if it actually is helping and people do find pain relief through it and stuff. Through the oils, smoking it, it's still inhaling a, you know, bad stuff in your. Can life. you smoke CBD? Probably, I don't know. Smoking just weed in general. Yeah, you get both. So, um, anyways, yeah. So, what is the chemical? What are what are our stances here? Like, I guess before I, we can't bet on something. Uh, I'm saying yeah. It's You're same. saying yes. It is the same chemical. There yeah. is a similar or the same chemical. Yeah, and I don't know. I'm probably going to be wrong on this, but I don't know either. I have no idea. I'm going to say no. I don't really think I don't know why does it smell? Why does anything smell skunky? What yeah. is skunky? The, the How would you describe like skunky? Does it smell bad? Because because IPA smells skunky. Yeah. What is that smell? What is the skunk essence? What is the essence of a skunk? Um. Lack of freshness. Interesting. Lack of freshness. That's the only way that I can describe mm. it. Mm. Like a dirty sock. That Dirty got peed on a few times. Yeah. Then maybe like wipe the sweat of a homeless man or something. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> those are our stances. Let's look it up. Let's okay. look it up. And I feel like there's a million tangents here to go down, but uh, let's do it up. Fire up the generator. Let's do it. Vroom! <laughs> <laughs> That's <is> aggressive generator. <laughs> but but let's let's crank it. Yeah. I think it's more. Did you ever do a slide whistle? Oh, yeah. I love the slide whistle. <laughs> I'll have to listen for it. Oh, oh, you're talking about on the show? Yeah. No, I, I do the generator. I, I know, but you should put a slide whistle somewhere in there. Right. Uh, please write in if you want to hear a slide whistle. Yes. Nobody wants to hear a slide whistle. Why not? For what? <laughs> Just like a random transition? <laughs> yeah, like when there's some, some downtime, you know, where we're both Googling something, it's quiet, you just... <laughs> oh my gosh. I do the generator sound for the main Google. Yeah. So for this Google, we'll fire up the generator. All right. And that's a callback from an earlier episode. Remember the yes. episode mm-hmm. where the generator kept going off in the background? Yeah. Oh, All right. When are we going to do some brewery episodes? I was going to tell you we should do it today, but then, I don't know. We got a lot going on. Yeah. That'd be hard. And I went, dude, I went to a, a brewery last weekend and there was the most amount of people I've ever seen in my life there. Yeah. And it kind of just made me like, uh, I think I'm going to hold off for the next year or so. From just going to breweries? That yeah. one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wiki Leaf <laughs> is the oh, website. That's the one I just found. Really? Why does pot smell like skunk? Is that what you found? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Do uh, you want me to read it or you? You can read it. Okay. Wiki, <laughs> Wiki Leaf, which is a cool website name. It's hard to ignore the similarities in the aroma of cannabis and skunk. 
that can be hard for some people to distinguish, though many people do so easily. Depending on where you are, it's not too difficult to infer what you're smelling. At a rave, <laughs> you're smelling weed. On a desolate country road, you're smelling skunk. In the middle of a neighborhood or city where skunks and pot intermix, it's a bit more of a crapshoot. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds legit. All right. Well, let's see. It's got a picture of a skunk. Cute. Cannabis, why it smells. Uh, cannabis, when trained nose, doesn't come with an odor, with one odor. Different strains have different aromas. That makes sense, kind of like coffee. Mm-hmm. Marijuana is filled with turpentines, organic compounds that are found in a variety of plants. Um, some insects also have it. Um, there are nu- numerous turpentines in cannabis, hundreds of them actually. But certain turpentines are more prevalent in uh, the plant than others. S- some turpen- many turpentines can smell like th- thyrols, thus creating a skunky a- aroma. While it's not exactly a desired trait, no one is spritzing themselves with the anal glands <laughs> before a hot date. Oh, so it's anal glands. Okay. Okay. Skunk number one is... One of these such strains, uh, that's like skunk number one is a strain of weed. It is a indica-leaning hybrid that has been popular since the 70s. The smell of it, not surprisingly, is very skunky, but also possesses hints of jasmine, fruit, and wood essences. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Skunk, I don't think this is going to answer. Skunky and non-skunky strains. It's just talking about weed, isn't it? It doesn't talk about skunks. Well, it did mention the anal gland. <laughs> oh, my God. What did you, you find? There's comments down at the bottom. It says, I think a skunk pissed on it. Y'all smoking skunk ass. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, a, that's, what, that's it what it is. That's what it is, skunk Turns ass. Turns out it really wasn't the marijuana. It was just the skunk that sprayed the marijuana. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't you look up what skunks, like what where the skunk smell comes from and then what it is. So, well, so it says turpentines is what it is. Okay, so, so does skunks do skunks have turpentine in their in their anal secretions? <laughs> These glands produce the skunk spray, which is a mixture of sulfur containing chemicals as a thylose. Mm-hmm. Uh what I don't know what a thylose is. Um traditionally called mercaptans. Mhm. Which is an offensive odor. The skunk is more powerful to ward off bears and predatory attackers. Um, I think you won. I'm give. I'm I'm calling it. Okay. Raising the flag. It's, so so, basically, skunks are producing a sulfur-containing chemical. So the skunk smell is more of a sulfur right odor, and it's turpentines that sell, smell similar to skunk but in the weed that there's there's multiple different smells but right. sometimes weed can smell skunky yeah i've never smelled non-skunky weed but i haven't smoked a lot of weed yeah all right well this is interesting i do want to read more about skunks here uh but i won this yeah all right. So, I guess I got to give you a beer, huh? Mark it up for another win for Will. All right. Everybody, let's pay attention. Will won the bet. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I won. How All about right. that? Let's go to Beer Corner. Or be- the-, the Beer Chest. Beer Zone. I stopped keeping track of beer, of, of our wins back uh, at 14. <gasps> Figaro. Figaro, 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 Figaro. <laughs> Mountain Brewing Company, Davy Brown's Locker. Oh, yeah. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. Established in 2010, Figaro Mountain Brewing Company. So this one was actually left at my house by Brandon. So <laughs> okay. thank you, Brandon. <laughs> yeah. Um, we love Figaro Mountain. Yeah. We, we've had them before, right? Yeah. What have we? What was the other beer we had from them? Probably we gotta keep track of this. <laughs> no, this one. Davy Brown. I don't know. Uh, no, 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 no. Oktoberfest. Oh yeah. Okay. I That's do right. at least have that one on here. Cool. I know we've had one, and it was Oktoberfest. Okay. So now we're having Figaro Mountain, Davy Brown's Locker. It sounds like Davy Jones. 
locker. All right. Well, let's crack her. All right. Um, um, I actually bought a little opener. I haven't used it yet, so we'll see if it works. <laughs> you know, you could have just put the beer down there. No. <laughs> okay. All right. No, either way. Oh. Cool. It does work. Oh. Oh, is that designed to go right there? Yeah. So okay. this, you can put a lock on it and then connect a chain. Oh, and then, okay. Like if you're leaving it ca- outside know. camping. Can you see this on the... I don't know if you can see this on the image. You yeah. probably can. Okay. Yeah, you can probably see that. Hit it. Um, so yeah, I got this off of eBay it's the other day. It was like 10 bucks. Okay. That's really cool. Yeah. I really want one of these coolers. We need to talk about this. Do you like... So Orca. So the Orca coolers, what brand is that? Like what... Uh, the brand is Orca. Uh, where do they carry it, I mean? I guess. Uh, so the difference between them and uh, Yeti, because I've got the Yeti also, is that Orca is made in the USA and Yeti's made in China. Oh, really? Yeah. But the Orca's cheaper, cheaper, right? Uh, they're around the same price, similar. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. that's. I like it. It works great. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting like a 65 or whatever. Is that? It's the bigger one. I think I... I think got, you've got a 75. I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think mine's a 75. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I love that 75, man. Yours, like, yeah, I went to Costco earlier. It's all filled up. Yeah. I think that one's a little too big for me. Mm-hmm. How much? Those are like 500? Uh, I don't know what she You got it as a gift, it. right? Yeah. Yeah. It's so nice when you go out of town, dude. Yeah. You can throw everything in there. Like if... Anytime we go out of town, I'll th- even like stuff that's in our fridge that's about to go bad, I'll throw it in there and we can just cook it whenever we get wherever we're going. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. We were just on that camping trip and we brought our like, the like, collapsible one we got from Costco. Oh, yeah. It literally keeps ice for two days. Yeah. Which actually isn't that bad. Yeah. Uh, was... Like we drained it on the end of the first day. Okay. So day one, we get there and then... Through day two, and at the end of that night, we drained it, and it's still at ice the next day. Okay. So two days. You know what I like to do, um, and we did this when we went to Lake Powell, is I buy a whole bunch of water bottles, and I'll put mm-hmm. them in my outside freezer and mm-hmm. freeze them, and then instead of putting ice, I just put frozen water bottles in there. And then when you want water, you just take it out, you let you it water. sit outside for a little bit, and you got mm-hmm. freezing cold water. That's cool. Yeah. That's a good idea because the more cold things in there yeah. maintains the coldness, right? Mm-hmm. You should just do that with beer. Freeze them? <laughs> I don't know no. if you can do that. Okay, let's talk about this beer. All right. We're in Beer Corner. This is a nice label. Yeah, it's Super got nice. like a little sunset kind of thing, a house with a chimney with a fire. This must be, or it's a uh, log cabin. This must be uh, Davy Brown that's standing outside of his log cabin. Um, so yeah, this is made in California. I think they've got... A brewery in Buellton, I believe. They also have uh, Royal Grande. They've got one. Um, their brews are pretty good. They've got a. I I've got one of their um, uh, growlers. Their growlers are super cool. They're like all squatty and they kind of look like a um, like a genie lamp. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, so anyway, Davy Brown, um, this rustic mocha colored. Ale was inspired by a reclusive pioneer named Davy Brown, hmm. who settled behind the northeast side of Figueroa Mountain on the west end of the Sunset Valley in the late 1800s. Uh, brewed with caramel, chocolate notes, the northern brewer, uh, oh, with northern brewer and Cascade hops. Uh, this brown. L has a West Coast hop characteristics with notes of coffee. Cool. Yeah. So this is nice brown. Uh, amazing label. Like really cool art. Um, and uh, we've had some of Figaro Mountain's beers. You've had a lot of them, right? Uh, I've had probably about five or six. Yeah. So they make good stuff. And then, yeah, they're local. Well, they're not. Their main place isn't local. But, yeah, their main place isn't local, but uh, they have one locally. Yeah. And then this one's pretty common in, in the the scene locally. Like you can pick it up at a lot of the restaurants and stuff. Right. Okay, cool. Oh, really dark. Yeah. yeah. Um, def- definitely has a caramel color to it. Yeah. And even like a little bit of uh, red tones too. Mm-hmm. Um, you can see with the video lights here. Really awesome. 
I love that. I mean, a great head too. Yeah. Um, you just like dumped it in there. <laughs> I mean, but for a bottle. Yeah. Like even yours still has a pretty good head on it. Yeah. I don't know. Out of a bottle, that's pretty great. Yeah. It's hard to like say that much. All right, let's drink it. Cool. Prost. Cheers. That's good. Pretty good. That is a good red. It's not a red. It's a brown. <laughs> that is a good brown. Let's back up. I'm going to say that right. That's that literally good, called Davy Brown. Brown L. That is a good brown. <laughs> I don't know why I said red. I think I said red because I'm I'm getting... I don't... Can you see that? I can see it. Yeah, at the yeah, bottom. It's so the red glass. on my side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we I haven't mean, done our uh, our beer... The beer score sheet. Score sheet I, yeah. I've been putting that at the bottom. <laughs> Actually, we should do that. I should print a bunch out um, and we should have... I should keep a stack in here and we should do that. We need to get faster at it though. Yeah. I like doing it when we go to breweries. It's, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it, it just takes some time to do. Yeah, thing. maybe that's something like we should like drink it like this. Like uh, right now we're going to have it. Yeah. And then we just kind of stop the podcast for a second, fill out our ideas on it, yeah. and, and calculate the numbers, and then come back. Well, that has a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. I don't it's know. thought that counts. Yeah, so yeah, if, you, if you're wondering, a um, few episodes back, maybe like five or ten episodes back, we did a beer score sheet that we found online. We wanted, Yeah, that we, was at... Um, a dead oak brewery. Dead oak, yeah. Yeah. So uh, Michael Lakai was with us, and we were talking about how to quantify beer, and we found this amazing score sheet that's really detailed. Yeah. So if uh, I've been putting it in the description of every episode. Uh, definitely cool. head over there, uh, down in the description uh, on YouTube or in the um, the message on YouTube or in the podcast notes. Uh, you can find that, and I also um, try to link as much stuff as I can in there in the fish doctor one, uh, I put the video of the guy, uh, that had the, that, uh, crustacean one that was cleaning the tanks and stuff. Oh, yeah. We were talking about that. Mm-hmm. So I put that in the description. Um, and then our Patreon link is down there too. If you want that, I try to link anything that we're talking about down there. Cool. Um, so yeah, you can definitely check those notes out. I, I should start linking the beers too. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. But anyways, figure a mountain is awesome. Awesome. Really good beer. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for bringing this. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Thanks, Brandon. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Brandon, for yeah. leaving it. He brought over a six pack uh, because we were going to make um, pineapple or, or not pineapple, uh, coconut shrimp. Oh, okay. And you put a brown beer in it into oh. the mix. Okay. Dude, it was so good. Okay. So freaking good. Um, and then. Did you use your deep fryer for that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. We cooked so much shrimp. Really? Yeah. And then I made sushi. So um, in the. What when do you add that? So you do the tell, tell me tell me about how you do that. The coconut shrimp. Um I don't know the recipe exactly. He had some kind of batter. I think it was like bisquick. And then okay. you just use you a brown coconut. Brown beer and then yeah, you add the coconut in there too. And then you just dump dunk the shrimp in there, give it a little coating. Okay. Throw it in the deep fryer. Do you do like a wet and then a dry with no, the coconut? Just wet. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Mm. Yeah. Cool. No, it's good. Yeah. Really freaking good, dude. I dude, that deep fryer is coming in handy for you. I've used a ton of times. Yeah, yeah. you got it at a yard sale, right? My dad got it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it was yard sale or something. Dude, when you let me borrow that, yeah, yeah you made um, churros, right? Yeah. Yes, I need to do that again. You know, I, I was thinking the other day. Did what I say if, that recipe? What if you rolled up a pizza and then you deep fried it? It would be good before anything, you cooked it. Anything deep fried would be so good. I think it'd be really good. Have you deep fried cheese before? No. Have you deep fried ice cream before? Well, yeah, I've deep fried cheese because oh, we sticks. made cheese sticks. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so for the viewers at home, I've talked about this a lot with my friends, with you. I have a business idea, but I, mean, I have many business ideas, and you like you told me about your business idea. I guess we didn't talk about it on the podcast yesterday or the uh, last episode, but it's called. Churros on Choro. Oh my gosh. And I really <laughs> <laughs> So there's a street in slow. Is the only reason why you want to do this because the name rhymes? Yes. Oh my gosh. So uh there's a street in slow called Churro Street. Choro Street. Uh I don't even know how it's spelled. C H O Choro. And I want to have a little cart. That I sell churros, fresh churros. And then you'd have a reason to go downtown. Remember <laughs> last episode you were saying, I don't belong downtown or whatever. I should push it with a uh, one wheel. Yeah. 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 
Um, what were you saying last episode? You don't belong downtown. That's what you were saying. <laughs> I have no reason to go downtown. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> uh, what did I say? I have I have no. Yeah, I said something. Like I that. think you said you don't belong downtown. I don't belong downtown. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, churros on churros on churro. Okay. Wouldn't that be good? Sure. Yeah. Oh, dude, those those churros we made were mean. They were good. Really? Did I ever bring them in? Did you ever have them? Mm-mm. I do like a good churro though. I found a good recipe online. Really? But did I tell you how hard it was to push them out of the bag? Yeah, you did too. Oh my gosh. So yeah, it was like a thicker batter, and I just like I was like ah squeeze like it. it was so hard. You need to figure out some way to use a, a caulking gun. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's revolutionary right there. That's a good idea. Yeah. Dude, just ksh, ksh, that's probably what they do. The churro churro stores. Probably. All those churro stores. Churro cocker. Churro, churro cock, cockroach. Cocker. Cock, cockroach on the churro. Is that how you're going to the cockroach uh, churros on churro street cockroach van? Yeah. Yeah. That's what Start it is. Cockroach cart. Cockroach cart. Yeah. Churros on churro. Cockroach cart. <laughs> I feel like we've gotten pretty far off topic here. Yeah. Let's real rain. What? Rain in it? Rain it in. Rain it in. Reel it in. You yeah, could reel, reel it in. in. Yeah. You could reel it in. You could rain it in. I would rather reel it in. Do you think you'd, you would you rather reel it in or rain it in? I prob- I'd probably, probably reel. I mean, probably reel makes reel it sense. It's more yeah. fishy. More fishy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's get back to skunks. Okay. Um, Where do they spray from? It's a Did their, you look it up? It's at their anal glands. But their anal glands. So that is its own gland. It's a gland within the anus. So they spray out of their butt. Okay, so it is coming out of their butt. It's an anal gland. Mm-hmm. Uh, trigger warning. <laughs> if you're <laughs> yeah. worried about if anal glands. If you say skunk's butt, you're probably going to get sprayed on. Yeah, skunk's butt. Don't do that. Have you ever been sprayed by a skunk? No. Have you ever seen a skunk? Yes, I we started the episode when I said that I saw a skunk running behind my house. That's right. <laughs> have you seen one before then? Yeah. Do you like skunks? Um, have you ever? They're pre- kind of cute. They really they are. are. You know, I saw a meme uh, that somebody posted, and it was like uh, enforcing my sh- social dins- distancing, and it was a guy walking a skunk. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's a really good idea. Yeah, it was like on a leash. Would you have a pet skunk? I don't know. That's what I was curious. I was thinking. I wonder if you raised it as a, ch- you know, a baby skunk. <laughs> You're so about to say child. Yeah, you raised it as a child. <laughs> um, would would they be comfortable around you and not spray on you? Probably. Yeah. It's like uh, Tiger King. Let's rain it back into Tiger King. Yeah. Haven't watched it. You need to watch it. I'm all right. This is uh, this this entire podcast is to get you to watch Tiger King. <laughs> That's my goal in my life. Okay, well, you set your standards high. My standards have always <laughs> been high for Tiger King. <laughs> uh, they should have Skunk King. Yeah? Yeah. Skunk King. Skunk King. Is that a thing? Do people hunt for skunks? I don't know. Are they endangered? Are, do they taste good? I'm. Do people eat skunk? Are skunks no- nocturnal? Oh, my gosh. We're asking so many questions. I think they're nocturnal. Do people eat skunks? No, you've seen them during the day. Oh, skunks are edible. The Indians ate skunks, and so uh, has many a trapper. I tried it, rolling pieces of cleanly skinned cockatoos in the flour and browning it in the skillet. It's better than <laughs> raccoon or <laughs> possums. Oh, that's good to know. But a skunk is bony, not as well padded, so not much meat. Okay. So, yeah, you can eat skunk, and apparently several people do. Are they nocturnal, though? Are they nocturnal? Uh, you want to bet on that? Oh, yeah. Let's bet on that. I think I, I think they're not. I think they are. Okay, mini bet. Hardly let's do mini ever bet. Seen them in the day. All right, we're going to mini bet this. And if you're new to the show, a mini bet is where Zach and I have a smaller bet inside the episode, and we bet hydro chips. Now, uh, we don't have any physical chips for that, um, but we want to make <laughs> we want to make some. And uh, during a brewery episode, which there hasn't been one in a long time because of COVID, yep, um, we can cash four chips in for a beer. Yep, uh, that the other person has to buy. So the main bet is beer for beer or beer for bet, and then the mini bets are a way to rack up some more points throughout the game. Yeah, and I do want to make some chips and give them out to our patrons. 
uh, oh. so that they can play at home. I've got an idea for chips. Uh, we could talk about it off air, though. Ooh. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah. Did you Did you hear that? They heard. They heard. Okay. All right. Uh, are they nocturnal? Are skunks knocky turnal? It shouldn't take that long to find it. I didn't Google that question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Boom! Oh, gosh. That was loud. <laughs> Sorry, viewers. They're, they are? Skunks are nocturnal. Usually active in the early evening and throughout the night. They usually spend the day sleeping in their dens, although during the warm months uh, they may bed in vegetation. Skunks do not hibernate, but generally remain inactive during the winter, surviving on their fat stores. That's very interesting. Yeah. Wow, I lost that. All right, enjoy your enjoy your token. <laughs> Hide your chip. <laughs> you can you. take that beer. Cap. Thank you, sir. All right. Well, I hate that I lost that. Yeah. I feel like I've seen them during the day. Well, they say mm-hmm. the animals that you see during the day that are nocturnal, they have rabies. Oh. Ooh, so that's not just good. be aware. Yeah. I want to read a little bit about skunks real quick. Go ahead. Uh, I, want to, I want to know. Got nothing but time. Now, this is from Wikipedia. So uh, <laughs> those people that hate Wikipedia, sorry about it. <laughs> who, who hates Wikipedia? Well, some people, well, it's not. Primary sources, you have to go to the primary sources, verify that it's real. Yeah. But anyways, this is not a podcast about high-end real facts. This is a podcast about beer belts. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Um, this is totally off topic oh and random. Oh, my gosh. We're trying uh, to learn about skunk, Zach. Pull up Urban Dictionary real quick. Oh, do I want to? Yes. Oh, gosh. Urban <laughs> Dictionary. Are you there? <laughs> Are you there? Yeah. Okay. You're going to type in my dad's name. Michael Lee Freeman. Okay. What's it say? The one that God has sent you for some pizza and beer. What? <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Wait, how did he get in the Urban Dictionary? Yeah, I don't know. What? Yeah. That's awesome. Right? Yeah, he, he told me the uh, Urban Dictionary the other day. I was like, oh, that's pretty freaking cool. By Pizza Zip. Pizza yeah. Zip entered this. That's cool. Yeah. Awesome. Your dad's in, in Urban famous. Dictionary. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. <laughs> All right. Well, that's Urban Dictionary, and that's our show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. I don't know what made me think of that. No, that's fine. Uh, okay. Skunks are notorious for their anal scent glands. Though, sorry, I, I saw something. I think we were talking even before the show what family they're in. Are they rodents? Right. They're I not. Think they're, they're not. No. Really? So skunks are muscadaly. Oh, so like muskrats. Yes. Uh, the muskrat, the weasel, the badgers, the otters, the ferrets, the minks, the wolverines. Mm. Um, yes, there's about 56 to 60 species across They're this in with category. wolverines? Yeah. Well, when you look at a skunk and a wolverine, they all kind of look the same, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I, I think it's funny that otters are in there, too. Yeah. Um, they're, it's a carnivorous mammal. Okay. Uh, and badgers, too. Okay. Let's get back into it. A skunk spray is powerful enough to ward off bears. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I think I read that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> did you? Yeah. Uh, muscles located next to the scent glands allow them to spray within a high degree of accuracy. Really? That's interesting. Now, how far can they spray? Does it say that? Three meters, 10 feet. Oh, wow. Um, their spray can also cause irritation and even temporary blindness. Sufficiently powerful to be detected by the human nose up to 3.5 miles. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah. So actually, that's interesting to know because I always smell it on the road, right? Yeah. And you think that it's like someone hit a skunk or something smelling weed around me. Yeah. Or uh, smoking weed around me. But it could be like a skunk had sprayed like off the road somewhere, yeah. like uh, in the woods or something. Can you imagine if we could do that? Like if... if you could smell so bad that people could smell you from three miles away. Oh, I thought you were talking about if we could spray our anal secretions at people. <laughs> that too. Wouldn't it be awesome <laughs> if we could spray our butt spray at people? But I don't know. It's just like that would be like, oh, here comes Will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Wait, wait, would that be awesome or bad? I don't know. It would I think be that'd crazy. Be bad. All right. Uh, skunks are reluctant to use this weapon as they carry just enough chemical for five or six uses. Whoa. In their lifetime? Oh, wait. Just 
I guess they just have that, and they require 10 days to produce another supply. Huh. So they like produce. That's weird. That's weird to like know mm-hmm. that. Who studies skunks? Who's out there studying skunks? The skunk doctors. Skunk doctors. <laughs> that's a thing. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, their coloration makes them memorable, obviously. Most predators of the Americas, such as the wolverines, or no, excuse me, the wolves, foxes, and badgers, seldom attack skunks, presumably out of fear to be sprayed. Exceptions are reckless predators who attacks fail once they are sprayed. Dogs and the great horned owl, which is the skunk's only regular predator. Really? So owls, the great horned owl, are constantly going after skunks and dogs. It's interesting. There are 57 striped skunks. Oh, there was once the remains of 57 striped skunks were found in a great horned owl nest. That was a terrible sentence, but <laughs> and that's my, my that's fault. That's crazy. Me. Yeah, that's crazy for sure. Um, skunks are common in urban, suburban areas. Oh, they do release the odor when they're hit. Okay. Okay. So maybe that's it. Skunk spray. Okay. This goes into our skunk spray discussion is comprised of mainly three low molecular weight thiol compounds. Butene? Butane. It's not butane. It's butene. Butanol. Methanol, butanol. Butanol. I can't read those words. Anyways. (laughs) Well, that's about it. Um, There was one other thing that I wanted to know. Okay. Well, two other things. What do they eat? And do they live in families? Like, do they raise their kids? Do they just have them and leave or, you know? Do they have pouches? They don't have pouches. A skunk's diet consists mainly of insects. Oh, really? Along with raccoons, squirrels, moles, starling... They dig holes and they look for grubs. Okay. So insects. Okay. And then how do they live? Uh, do they live with their families? Okay. Skunks live in forest edges, woodlands, grasslands, and deserts. They typically make their own homes in abandoned burrows, but will also live in abandoned buildings, under large rocks, and in hollow logs. Mm-hmm. It hasn't talked anything about like hanging out with other, with other people. Skunks. And you only really see like skunks alone, right? Yeah, I've never seen them together. Mm. Offspring. Little is known about the biology of stink badgers. Female skunks give birth every year. Their gestation period often lasts around two months, and they give birth to two, uh, ten offsprings at a time. Really? Baby skunks are called kits. Kits are blind when born. K-I-T-S? Kits, yeah. K-I-T-S. Uh, since their eyes are sealed shut, sounds pretty normal, uh, according to the San Diego Zoo. Um, skunks have sh- very short lives often live only around three years hmm. old in captivity they can live a little longer usually seven to eight years that's not that long it's not at all wow I feel bad for those people who have those as pets <laughs> yeah for sure anything else you want to say about skunks there Zach <laughs> Pepe Le Pew that's Pepe it. Le Pew uh, okay Pepe was, Le Pew was Pepe a uh, high tunes Looney Tunes character I think so uh, Pepe Le Pew. Le- Pepe Le Pew is a character from the Warner Brothers Looney Tunes. No, that's great. Um, first introduced in 1945. Oh wow! And it was a French striped skunk. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. All right. One of the famous skunks out there. Well, that's a lot of information for us today. Yeah. My I, brain hurts a little bit after that. I don't that. think I need to know anything else about skunks. Skunks. There it is. Well, it's not the same. What well, we learned that it's not the same chemical as weed. No, do skunks have milk? They do they feed their babies milk? Yeah, they're mammals, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. I wonder what skunk milk tastes like. Hmm. You think it tastes like skunk? Only I guess people eat it, so it probably just tastes like regular milk. People eat the skunk milk? No, people eat skunk. Yeah, it probably it's probably I mean, I don't think it tastes like regular milk. Yeah. Gosh, people freaking eat skunk. And when they die, they release the secretion. So they're going to be around that smell. And that smell, Ugh, like, that smell like stains, doesn't it? Why would you, when you, there's so many other animals in the world. Why would you want to eat a skunk if you're, if, if you're going to have that smell? I think it's like the, just that redneck hunter population that just like will eat anything, you know? I take offense to that, sir. You're not a hunter. <laughs> 
I'm a, I'm a gatherer, okay? Do you gather dead skunks? Uh, no. You can legally now in California, though, right? Yeah, you can. Well, no. It, there's Is certain it animals. Deer? It's deer, oh, okay. and I don't know if skunk was on there. The hunting season? Huh? The hunting season animals? Uh, probably, yeah. Like ducks and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Wow. I did not know we were going to go down all these roads, Yeah, but I'm very enlightened that we did. I'm happy with this episode. I'm happy with it too. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for listening. Uh, YouTubers. Um, yeah. Did you know we're on YouTube, Zach? Uh, you told me last episode. Yeah. Well, this episode, I'm telling you again. All right. And if you're watching us on YouTube, Hey, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> um, so, uh, I really appreciate you listening and watching Please subscribe. Consider subscribing. Did you know that that's great to do? Yeah, so, that's what I heard. If you <laughs> if you subscribe on YouTube, you can hit the little bell. You get notifications of us posting new ones. If you join our Patreon for five bucks a month, I haven't lowered it yet to one dollar a month. I might do that. If it if that entices you to lower it to a dollar, that's the barrier of entry. One dollar a month. Is that interesting? Or five dollars a month? Yeah, it's five dollars a month. Come on, you listen. This is episode 32. You've listened for eons already. Do you want to pay $5? I would love that. That'd be great. But you don't have to. Anyways, subscribe on YouTube. Join the Patreon. You'll get the episodes a week or more early. Um, And if we ever end up making these Hydro Chips, I'm going to send them to every patron that we have. I'm for free. Not to change the subject. You are a subject changer. (laughs) We're trying if, to end this podcast right if now. If I drop this in there, do you think the cap will float or sink? It'll float. It'll float? Uh, if you drop it right. That's what I was thinking too. Okay, never mind then. Lame. I was going to mini bet you. Super lame. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to like get as many bets as you can. <laughs> I need to get back on the board, man. Yeah, well, actually, we need to go back and track all those. We need to be better at tracking our data. Yeah. If you have been watching for 33, 32 episodes now, Maybe you can help us track that information. Yeah. Report who's won the most bets and who's won the most mini bets. And maybe we'll give you uh, free access to the Patreon. Hey, that? that would be a good one. Yeah, for only $5 a month. Free access for only $5 a month? Yeah. That's a good deal to me. Yeah. All right, follow us on all the Instagrams, all the Facebooks, all the... You can email us any bets that you have or mm-hmm. Sam and DM us and all the things. Better Not Podcast or just Better Not, I think, on uh, Facebook, Patreon, and Instagram. So uh, thank you so much for listening and thanks for being here, YouTubers. And we'll see you later. Peace. Peace. All right. Well, what are we talking about next week, Zach? Next week, we are talking about water pressure. Water pressure. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, water pressure. Wait. I've never discussed this with you. What? Yeah. (laughs) This wasn't pre-planned at all. (laughs) What causes or what produces water pressure? So, like, when you when you turn on your faucet at the house, what makes that water come out? Like, I think about the water, I think about just the entire water structure all the time. Like, how cities and stuff work like that. All the time? Yeah, I, kind of, yeah. Okay. So, I just really don't know. What do you think? I think they pump it up. They pump it. To the highest point so in the city. So, a pump pumps it to the highest point. And gravity does the rest. And gravity does the rest, yeah. Okay. Part of me thinks it should be a pump, but, like, there's no way a giant pump does it. You know, oh, man, I might have just thought of what okay, it actually Okay, if is. it's not a pump and it's not gravity, what else could it be? Vacuum. Okay. I don't know. I don't think it's a pump or a gravity. I think there's got to be a different thing. Can I okay. bet on that? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I'm wrong, then you you win. Yeah. I, I just thought it could be va- a vacuum, though. Like maybe they created a suction, so and then once suction. you open it, it's the it's actually sucking it out rather than pushing it out. I don't know. Just like that. Is that the suction? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's figure it know. out next week. Yeah. All right. All right. The Better Not Podcast is Will Cobb and Zach Freeman, produced by Cobblestone Productions. All the music you hear in the show is written by Will Cobb and mixed by Chad McLevina. Thank you so much to Savannah, my wife, for singing on all the tracks that you hear. We post our episodes now on YouTube. Go head over there and subscribe to us and like our video. And don't forget to sign up for patreon.com slash betternot 
and support us for five bucks a month. It goes a long way for helping us out. Thank you so much for listening and see you in the next one.